This your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. And we got with us today, baby Lil Reba. This might be a little longer video. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you would like to be notified when we update videos, don't forget to hit the bell so you can be notified when we do videos. And once again, this is Reva Gray. She is the Reva prototype. Full body silicone with the jointed neck. And she is sculpted by Lillian Brifo. And she was painted and poured by Claire Taylor. But we getting, she's feeding right now. But I got a couple of things I want to share with you guys. For one, I know y'all haven't seen me all week. Like I told y'all, the day before Thanksgiving, Dad went back in ICU. Well, he had surgery the day before yesterday, and he has the trach back in his neck again. He had to have another tracheotomy surgery. He's in intensive care, but they are working on um, getting him up out of bed. Um, they did some physical therapy with him, so he's coming along. And I just want to thank everybody for their out, um, reach and asking um, about how he was doing, as well as praying for me and my family. I thank you, and thank you, and thank you again. Um, another thing, let me see if I can grab my phone real quick so I can show y'all. And I just heard it ding this now, so let me put it on silent so I don't get interrupted with any phone calls. But if my family, um, does call, I will have to stop the video and take that particular, um, call. But anyway... As of 30 minutes ago, you know, when they booked, when they decided to do the, my niece just got married. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to go to the wedding because when they booked the wedding, it was on a cruise ship and there, everybody is going to Atlanta. I mean, not Atlanta, to the Bahamas. And, and I say it up front, given daddy's history, Cause I think they um, planned this the end part of last year or was it January of this year? But at that time, like I told y'all, that been in ICU in November, December, skipped January, was back in February. I said I can't see all the kids, the entire family leaving the country when mom can't drive and dad is in the medical condition that he is in. And see, I follow my mind. And being the oldest, I stayed back as well as mom and dad. Well, they had never had no attentions on going to the ship anyway because she's scared of the, the ships. But, um, so unfortunately we weren't able to go. But they sent us uh, some pictures. I don't know if, let me see if I can focus on. That's her and her new husband. And this there's a picture of them right here. I just wanted to share that with you all. These are a few pictures from the um, cause they they all and all of them going on the cruise, but um, and this is the 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 wedding party. Wait a minute. They leaving out of Jacksonville, but they did the wedding prior to everybody. Coming on the ship. But I just wanted to. Sh and that's my niece with talking to her mom. Which is my sister. But I just wanted to show y'all. Those few pictures there. Um, she just. Got married at 1 o'clock. Right now it's 1.39. My uncle from New Orleans. He called me from the. Um, the ship. And as a matter of fact. Let me see if I can find that picture. Um, you know, he usually come down a couple of times a year. And that's my dad, baby brother. And the other day when he was here, the, was it? 
This was the day before dad's surgery. Here's a picture. We took this picture actually in the hospital room. That's me and my dad's baby brother, Uncle Dennis. He lived in um, New Orleans, Louisiana, but he just called me up there. Hey, sugar, just called to tell you your niece just got married. She's such a beautiful bride. And I took a lot of pictures, so I'll make sure I give copies to y'all. So that was very sweet of him. So, Uncle Dennis, when you do get back and see this video, I just want to say thanks so much for looking out for us and calling and letting me know that everything went by okay. While the Pulla is still feeding Reva, because I got her popped up where she can get her bottle, I want to show y'all some things I've been working on. I don't know if this can see. Every time I bring these kits on, this camera does not show the details. But anyway, I'm just going to show, do a run through. That's the belly, please. Oops, I forget you can't show the girl pump bits. I apologize for that. There, I, I totally I forgot. And, it, and I don't know how to edit it out. So it is what it is. That's one of them. And this is the other one. Just let me show you all that. But like I say, the camera doesn't pick up. I mean, this particular, I don't know if it's the lighting in here. Oh, what doesn't pick up the details and things in my penny because he never shows the blushing and thing but I just want to show y'all two of the dolls I was working on and I told you I had a lot of things I wanted to share from dad changing out Reva Reva doesn't you finish with this Reva you will let look at Reva in one leg come on Reva you could Finish up. Don't be dribbling. I ain't even put you on. Oh, let me try to burp you some. All righty. Whole thing so knocked out. But we could get her out of this outfit. This is what she had on for Thanksgiving. Let me get that pug. I had her head propped up for the um the bottle feeding. She can put this up under her head right now. Oh, sweet. Is that comfortable for you there? Let me make sure she's still in frame. Why is these glitters still on Reva? Lord. Every time I change Reva, I gotta pull off glitters. I hope everyone is having a blessed weekend well blessed week i know i miss a lot of the things this week i just dropped mom off to the hospitals and i told her i wanted to come back so i can try to get in a couple of videos see if i can pre-record some for next week provided she don't call back and say she's ready to come back oh goodness these glitters and y'all know I did watch Reva, but for some reason, these little, all the glitters did not come off. So she still shine like a diamond. <laughs> Let me take this headband off of her. Now, I'm going to tell y'all one thing. Um, ever since Claire Taylor said that she was um coming out with a new skunk which i notice this every time she has um new kits or a new scalp come out everybody sells all the old ones but anybody looking for some nice claire taylor dolls painted by claire taylor this is the time to grab them up because um if you go on dollfan.com i'm sure some is advertised on Facebook as well. But there are a lot of Clear Taylor dolls up for sale right now for the Christmas holidays. So that's a good way to get a, a lovely pre on doll done by her. Because you are aware that she said she wasn't doing any more customs. But the dolls are still beautifully painted. 
And I'm going to tell you, she painted this one I'm changing now um, at the end of the year last year. Around this time last year, as a matter of fact, she painted Reva. I just didn't get Reva until January of this year. Fish. And I've never had, I don't think I like this pillow behind her. I think I like her better laying down, look more comfortable. I just gotta get off one more second and make sure she's still in frame, yep. Just, uh, I've never had any issues with Reva paint. Only issues for all the sparkly clothes I like to put Reva in. But never no issues with Reva paint, y'all. We could change Reva and put her on one. Let me fold it back so y'all can see. She, I'm taking off the honest diaper that she have on. She got on the white one with the um, air balloons and elephants on it. And we could put her on this little floral one size newborn. And then we'll put her on a new undershirt and a little outfit. Because Reva hasn't been changed since thank before Thanksgiving, to be honest with you. I, I've been so busy, you know, running back and forth to the hospital every day with Dad. And let me tell y'all something. They said that, because see, Dad had a neck broke back in, was it 2007, I think? I know some years ago he had his neck broken and um, MUSC did his surgery then. And the first hospital he was in, they said that they had to transfer him out. That hospital because he needed to be someplace with a trauma unit. And that's the same place that did his um, last surgery. So, anyway, they had to transfer him. Huh? I tell Dad this time around, look like he going to every hospital in the in the state. <laughs> so for the three months he been in the hospital, he been in three different facilities. You know, with they transferring him out of. But um, and this time now, how am I going to? Oh, I got to pull it back up. And then ease this up. There you go. We even know she's a narrow little thing now. Yeah, you don't have those fat legs like Lil and them guy. Look at these low thighs. He's too little. I remember I was my mom's smallest baby. Mom's I was six pound one ounce when I was born. So as little as Reva is, because Reva's seven pounds. Reva got the nerve to be a little bit bigger than I was at birth. And even though I'm the biggest child now, I was the skinniest coming up. Now, I'm going to either put her on. Let me see. Because I'm putting her on. This outfit is by Little Me. It's a size newborn. Let me put the tags off. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, the tag come off of this. Oh, God. This is just drives me crazy. Dude, you got to get these things off. You can't. Keep, let me see. Do I have a clip of stuff here? Yeah, I got a clip. You can't leave these here thing here to pierce your silicone, so you gotta always make sure you take all the tags off. And I think, no, I think this this lighter one worked better. Let me take the tag off of that. And this undershirt is just like the one that she had on. She had the coral color one, and this is the mint green one. It's by Carter's. It's a newborn. It has the green and white floral print. This is Little Me, and it's mint green with the pink roses all over it. And the color got polka dots. Oh, it's could have had that on for dark days. Oh. 
and it's the little fitted pants with mint green and the little gray polka dots all over it. It's a set. And it's a size newborn, and it says it's from size um up to eight pounds. So we can get this on Reba. When I tell y'all I got a sister in the community, and I'm not going to see who she is, but she's expecting a, a little doll soon, a silicone. And when I tell y'all, I'm just as excited. You think I'm getting another silicone because she's so happy and so excited. And I don't know who's happier, me or her. <laughs> I really wish we had looked much closer where I could have even be there when she did the box open it, you know. Oh, gosh, because that's how excited I am for her with that baby. We talk about that baby and look at the baby pictures all day, every day. I can't hardly wait. Oh, Reba, you're kind of on the cooler side. And see, even though, look at the little onesie is newborn. Look how saggy and baggy he's still on poor Reba. Even her diapers be busting the sag. See that? Look at that. All the little sag. Never too narrow. Oh, I got my phone on silent. Cause the ship ain't leave yet. They still in dock. Oh, wait a minute. I just got some more pictures. They download them right now, so. But I just wanted to share that with you, you guys. And like I told y'all, one of the young ladies that was supposed to attain her wedding, one of her college roommates, she got killed in a car accident a couple of weeks ago. I had shared that here on um, YouTube, I think, in my last video. So even though it's, an, it's a happy moment, I know it's still a sad moment because she really was looking forward to her being there you know <laughs> oh Reva not never for the weeds you always got to pull it almost out the chest Reva put me so much in mind of me is shameful <laughs> so even with my dress slacks with me being 5'2 and Sometimes it's hard for me to find, um, well, I don't even, very rarely do I ever even go in the missus section to, to buy clothes because um, the missus pants is just way, way too long for me. Um, I always go in the juniors to buy my slacks, but the only thing about it, the junior pants is, they got a lot of low rise. And when you got battle hips and stuff, those... <laughs> You turn a low rise to a lower rise. <laughs> but um but every now and then I can find a couple of dress slacks because the the juniors don't the pants don't be as long. So I always go in the junior section. Or if they got a boutique section, then I go in the boutique section. Me my mom always go in just boutique. Because even at five two, she's five foot even, and so the so a lot of times when I do find a slacks that fit me, I just even it can be the same color. I just buy all they got in my size because it's so hard for me to find pants and I just to do them with different shirts. But it can be the same thing, but it don't matter, and it can be the same color. I don't care. I just you know need me some slacks. You know what I'm saying? She got the undershirt on to match but th this was a three-piece set for, but for some reason i don't know if i got to touch the, the the other piece to go to it or not That being said, 
like this and keep it like that. And due to the fact, I don't know whether the pit reaper, but the headband I just took off her actually matches her clothes. Oh, look. Get this soaked in before it drain all down her face. And Y'all be telling me I'm drowning Reva again. But I'm going to tell you, these mohair just takes up so much. You know, to me, I just think these is, they grab a lot of water. It's a really kind of drying thing. You know, it dries out so fast. So I always like to have mine. I don't like quite an even part going around. I like to brush it in. Like on a swirl and blend it in that way so that you don't see all the parting and stuff. Oh. Let me I take this phone on silence and this phone just Bazin ever saying. Now I always put Reva on hairbands, but I think and I still might do the hair. I'm gonna check to see how the hairband look on here. But I was thinking about using one of these little bowls here, the mint green one. And it has little dainty little white little flowers and darts in it. They all have the same design, but this one is white with black print and all the rest is solid colors with white print on it. And I bought this pack for $1.99 from um, Once Upon a Child. But every now and then, you can get the pack of the miniature bowls. But like I said, even if you don't use it, like Reaper don't have that much hair. And I'll show y'all in a minute. Um, to wear some the clip-on bowls direct on her head. So, I use these bowls. To just clip on to her hairbands, existing hairbands. But I was going to see how one would look. Well, you know, she could do one like that because she ain't never. Yeah, now that's cute. I might leave it like that because she never had her hair like that. Oh, wait a minute. See them sides? I didn't dry up on me already. You know I'm not going to put up with that. With this fan. And where is the pacifier? Because I brought her a pacifier. But I just realized I did not. Let me see if I can wet this pacifier if it'll slip in. Because I just think I just cleaned out the gel out of her mouth. But I'm putting on this matte one. It's a glow-in-the-dark um, pacifier, but it's clear with the, the green on it. Stars and moon. There you go. Yeah, aunties and Uncle Reva. And really, she can keep on these same little mitts because, you know, it blends in with what she has. And I was going to take them off, but she can keep those on. But what I was saying, like this here, boy, she took off. This is actually a fitless sandal that I just wrapped around in the, the existing bowl the existing headband and see you take it off now you got back a fitless sandal and see how that bowl was already attached to that thing but I just wanted to put that on there but I think I like it with just a little she can do the mind she cheated today because she never wear that i seen a lot of people would put the little wine, little bam, like, you know, pebbles and bam, bam, little um, hairstyle with the wine bow on front. Let me show y'all. Y'all niece. You know, two-piece fitted set. And then it has the little bow on top of each of the fit. And it's mint green and pink with the jacket. And then... And like I say, even if you get hot, tilt me up a little bit so y'all can see her a little bit. Yeah. 
if it gets hot I can always open this up and she has the same color mint green um little onesie on up underneath that and like I say this is a three-piece set but I don't know where I do it the top but she got a couple of sets in the same color that's why we have the different onesies and under shirts to match it but me and Ruth was talking the other day and I told her so I really think Miss Ruth got the most onesie out of anybody I know I said Ruth you got every color onesie on the in the rainbow but she got some beautiful ones now I told her now I like to buy the different color ones but I use it as coordinating with the outfits to put up underneath their clothes and sleepers and things like that but um and in the summertime every now and then um i let now canela be canela and jonathan being more and maybe gray sometimes being the ones these more by themselves but the rest of them it is weird to coordinate or match the outfit but i don't want this video to be long Cause like I said, oh let me put Reva back on her bracelet. And like I said, you can get these little bracelets with their name on it. Cause I ordered the Reva one. Like I see a lot of people wait to the doll shows to go get their bracelets and stuff. But I went on eBay and put on Reborn jewelry or Reborn bracelets or doll doll jewelry doll bracelets. And you got all kind of vendors on there selling and making these jewelry. And, um, what's the lady name? First time reborn moms? Hold up. Let me, I'll um, see if I can find the, um, thing. I want to let y'all know. I want to give a shout out to her channel. She is, um, a new reborn, uh, um, upcoming new reborn artist. But, you know, me and a couple of other people always talking about how we hate rooting. But I want y'all to know she is doing a rooting special going on right now. Hold up. I got to find it. Cause she, I asked her to email it to me, and y'all can find her here on YouTube, as well as on Instagram, and this is what it says right here, and that's how her name is spelled, First Time Reborn Mom, and she has a special on rooting going on right now, and her nursery name is Twice a Child Re... Hold up. Her nursery, her nursery is called, oh, wait a minute, the thing going up. Twice a Child Reborn Nursery, and she now offers rooting services for preemie and small newborns. She got a $125 offer for newborn up to three months. She, she will root to here for $200, and for large and toddler size, she rooting to here For large and taller size, she rooting the hair for two twenty five. So it's twice a child reborns nursery. That's her nursery name. But here on YouTube, she goes by first time reborn mom. So if y'all got a baby that's here is thinning out or coming out, or y'all got a baby that's bald headed and you want to get some hair rooted on that baby here, or if you're doing like I am, reborning dolls and you can't get to rooting them or you just don't like to root and you're looking for a rooter y'all can go on her instagram page she does a beautiful job and she also have babies for sale from newborn up to the six month elliot right now she have for sale so y'all check out her channel check her out on instagram as well as facebook but anyway i just want to put that out there for her Everybody continue to pray for everybody second shot in. Better yet, just pray for everybody in the dog community and hope everyone is having a blessed one in the name of Jesus. And um oh another one of our sisters in the community, Bully's Nursery, she's selling her Daisy partial silicone doll. So if anybody is interested, and um I don't think she wanna do a layaway at this time, but if you are in, but she got it at a really good price, so I know it's gonna go fast. Anybody looking for AA silicone, Miss Bully from Bully's Nursery, 
is selling her daisy so go over to her channel uh message her on instagram and the bullies nursery so if you're interested in that give her um you know contact her for that or uh, you can contact get in touch with me and i can send the message to her it doesn't matter it'll get to her but anyway that's your girl earl from embracing reborn just changing your little niece reva grace and like i said i'm gonna try to get on I might try to do a couple of more videos the day before mom calls me if I can. If I can't, then I will see y'all again in December. I know the day was theme day was a sports theme, but I also told y'all as an alternative to PJ Saturday, we can start doing our college teams on Saturday and NFL teams um, on Sundays. So it'll be sports themes on the weekend as an alternative to PJ Saturday and Best Dress Sunday as well as a theme Thursday theme this week as well. But anyway, this is your girl Earl. I hope everyone is having a blessed one. And like I said, I'm going to bring this video to an end because the dolls are cutting up outside and I need to see what they're cutting up about. Um, but anyway, y'all have a blessed one. And as always, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to be notified when we do videos, hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. And as always, thanks for watching.